good YouTube, what is good family, have no fear, Orlando is here pushing P, prosperity is near. You're feeling me? Pretty valid morning. Let me know how y'all mornings is going. How's y'all rituals going in the morning, you feel me? Knocking on Gotham's door. Yeah, that nigga's crazy. Thing Make sure That's a threat. That's a threat. I don't take kindly to threats. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. But I don't know how I feel about this guy. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. He's thank too you, invested in the cloud that he does stupid shit without Zed. noticing. Carmine Falcone? Is the death campaign that. soliciting Stupid votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your you got with that stupid thief bitch for the clout. That's crazy. This dude talking about my father. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Oh yeah, she want me. She want me. Even though I snuck her shit, she want me. Can we just get I uh, I can't skip this. It's the way the ways are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Bro, they're dead. There's no point of view like you can't get their point of view because they're gone. They got put in a spliff. It's his parents, bro. Like, that's so confusing to me. Game series is absolutely true. You make the stories tailored by how you play. PTSD's going in crazy. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's also public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible that kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. And try harder! I don't think you need to be this mad, honestly. The wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. 
Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. Oh God. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Alfred won't forget that. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had a reason. Well, that's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. <sighs> Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. What? Bro, 20 years later, search the alley to remember. I was about to say, 20 years later, you're not going to find evidence. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I wouldn't trust myself around him. That man doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Ain't no way my controller keeps dying. I almost didn't answer that, Alfred. I almost didn't answer that. to see that you took a different path. Nah, this is crazy, gang -y. This This charger is like on this last web. This last limbs. I love that movie. So I countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good at me. Exactly, does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are. Can... Alright. We better go fix this.
Damn, that's kind of wild. Considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Stop. I command you. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. Nothing personal, just business. They told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this. Trace bus. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a buggy. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Hmm. Valentine's the worst day. Got too many to please. I pop me out of a book view and put my mind at ease. GCPD. Oh my. So. Common Falcone, I'm gonna have to put him in a spliff. This man, oh my, he's moving different now. See Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you. This could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. Okay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should nah. at least know what I'm getting myself into. No. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Exactly. Fine, fine, don't tell me. I'm not. I hope none of this comes back to bite us. Shut up. I don't want headlines don't. taking away from my debate with Hill. Don't worry about it. Stop worrying. Mr. Wayne. All this nigga GCP. worries about is his goddamn debate, you, his clout, and his fucking support you, bro. See, Falcone, Think about someone be else nice besides PA yourself, PA bro. Like, come on now. Tee up, bro. He's not. I realize this is irregular, Lieutenant. I wouldn't ask if there was another way. I'm vouching for him, Gordon. Trust me, he's one of the good guys. A good guy who always gets what they want. Yep. Now in my book, there's no such thing. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Mondo. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you. Despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. So the police support Bruce Wayne. Okay, and the police hate infirmary. Batman. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about Batman is a hero. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, and say Gotham's lucky to have him. Exactly. <laughs> It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All Nothing right, says Falcone's a hero. Inside. Say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Red. See that.
Episode 2. Stop playing with me. I'm gonna run deep into this episode and try to get as much of it done as possible. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Clout? Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Oh, Especially I... after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. I could avenge my father's death right now. And there's not a damn thing you could do to stop me. Avenge, Tommy? Ah, so that's what this is really about, it. The pop digging up a 20-year-old kid. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. You, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? No. It's probably gonna kill him. Someone he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. No. They're waiting for you in hell. No. Yo, what the fuck? The bastard had to die. She's drugged. Hit in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! He's Go. gone. Go! I never found out. Nah, bro. Why she look like that? Why she came in a room like that? Bro. We are in deep shit. 
I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out sooner or later. Look at the smoke Gordon's puffing, bro. Why she do something like this. We had Gotham's biggest crime Jeez. lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. It's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She never do anything to hurt the department. Falcone's case made justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Bro, look at her. She was not normal. We gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Pick her face up right now. We have the shooter in custody. The details are still coming in and we're investigating. The usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Exactly. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney. This man's stupid, bro. All he cares about is the clubs. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Oh, word. Tell me if she says anything. I'm about to be Mr. have to know why she did this. Exactly. I'm about to be Mr. Detective. Don't tell me. Mr. Detective. Alfred. Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. It's on her neck. Ew. First of all, I see this. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Um. And she's veiny. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. She knows. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen. You have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Hmm. Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I should have, they were a million miles away. Did, did you see a face? Did you ID a suspect? I, I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Hmm. Cobblepot said something similar. Exactly. The crazy ass nigga at the park I'm said so something sorry, about Lieutenant. that. He was I'll like, pick a down. side. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Delirious. Hey, don't worry. She's delirious. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. 
out loud of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! Let me she not say this is like Mel Schmuckoff. That's not much to go on. I imagine. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Oh, God. This is not the time. What are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Didn't you hear me? I said no comment. Exactly. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Hunger. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Shut up. No. This is exactly what girls be like, bro. Always assuming, bro. Like, God damn. Just let a nigga live. One of those things where it's like you had to be there in order to know. Shorty sure tripping. Okay, every time Bruce pulls up in this, I'm like, sheesh. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either That's way, I'm saying. Find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. No. What did you learn from him? Practically family. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the head. Yeah, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Hmm. Took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. Mm. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but 
dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, he could build a small army of remorseless assassins. Yeah, they could. The thought is chilly. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Mm, say that. This dude has to be a billionaire. Pretty sure he is. Um. I saw that immediately. Mm hmm. This would tell me to go with it. Bro. Speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Oh, yeah. I get shit done, boy. Oh, that wolf is on the net, nigga. I thought you was Doug. That's fire. Hmm. Since the music is power. I I got my own security. Mm -hmm. Slap them. You lot, come check out this office. Which I got my own fight on the security in the club. Where is I it? I don't know. Please, this is Mr. Cobble. Hey, you can help me, or you can join. Guess who's in this bed? Let him go. Batman! <laughs> it's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But don't worry, or pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you sold at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp 
No one didn't. I arrested him. I don't care. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. Oh. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with that, honey. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Got it! Me! You've got flair! Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. Yeah, you're trying to take over, bro. That's why you got this big blue nigga. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a cat woman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. No, you, you're leaving her alone. Word two. Bro's big ass, goofy ass nigga. Oh my fucking face. Bro, I hit all those combos. In a way, he touched me. Oh. The duck weave. Where's my option, bro? He's gonna kill me with this shit. Give him a sip. Yo, give him a kick. Oh, no, nah, he ran. His big goofy ass. They're all on my dude. They're probably on the first floor by now. Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Need to find Batwoman. He knows out here tripping. No, not Catwoman. So this is who she answers to. That crazy nigga. That dude's the closest thing to a pimp in this in this whole game. He's got everybody just listening to him. I'm I'm just very average. And everyone here staring at me. Tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. Let me set the mood for these bums. Cops raided his house. I'm not talking to none of these motherfuckers. I'm going straight to the shorty. And you get. lost? Cause I don't have time for tours. What do you mean, bitch? Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Flash money like that in here, you better be ready to fight. I got customers who knife a man for less. So the guy. Where is she? Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. 
you're shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, that, mean, that does not Man's mean anything. I will beat your thing. ass. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Bald ass nigga gets no hoes, bro. Selena, I need to tell you something important. You better be an apology. Hmm. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. No, I'm going to get you out of this, shorty. You screw someone over, you really screw them. I'm about to get you out of this, shorty. Penguin. <laughs> Penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. Nah, shut up. Don't even try me like that. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better. Exactly. No cost. Well, exactly. he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us I don't care. working together. I don't care. After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this the less he knows the safer he'll be. Oh, what? I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. Nah. Wait, let's talk about you and I. Word. Things are moving at an appropriate speed. Who are these niggas, bro? Who's some tough guy wannabes walking through the building? Look at their haircuts. Selena Kyle. Penguin says hello. Hello. Hello, Gavna. What you gonna do, boy? What you got these fucking. Peter, we're here for her. Word. Watch how I handle this, shirty. You care about your own skin? Sure. You'll get the hell out. Okay, bet. Say that. Ooh, ooh. Straight business. Straight business. Straight business. Okay, we got into business. Word, let me do some. Let me do some. What's going on? Oh! Oh, he's going crazy. Stop playing with me. Oh, yeah, we're, we're gonna end up smashing. Weird. You guys are kicking ass together at the same time. This is gonna try to shank me. He's got choke slam through a table. Someone in here is just gonna try to get me, bro. Oh, yeah. Not done yet. I wanna fuck on a cardigan. Okay. Okay. This kid still wants to work, bro. It's like 12 on 2. I 
I uh -oh. think they want more. Then let's give it to him. No way I want more. Let's go. Stop playing with me. Oh. We thought. Dude, there's like 22 of them. What What's going on? Let me use my supercharge, bro. It's my finisher. Here we go. Oh, that's wild. In a way, he just did that with her. You felt pretty good for such a pretty boy. Huh? Uh, way. <laughs> you know the lie. We out. We out. We out. Oh, say that. I'm out. Quick, check the alleyway. Oh, fuck, bro. I thought I was about to get a kiss. This is literally what I was to be like. They be on Let's dick, the bro. They be on dick. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Oi. Let's get out of here. She knows the timing I'm on though. She said let's get out of here. Hold I'll on. Take the rooftops. You take the alley. Okay. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe. But only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. <laughs> exactly. The hell? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Oh. I know, girl. Shit. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of the smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. <laughs> She's like, you shouldn't trust me. You gotta tell me twice. <laughs> Fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's Mayor talking to Hill. Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. As Batman. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. Yes. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Mm. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Since talking about me. Oh no, I don't know. I'm sure it goes Bruce. I'm going as Batman. He's gonna run away from me, bro, I swear. I'm going as Bruce. Nah, I'm going as Bruce. I'm going as, I feel like he's going to be too scared. Yeah, I gotta fix Bruce's reputation. Also, these dudes, some, I, I don't know. Batman has a good reputation. But tell me not, if I was to pull up on the mayor as Batman, he's not going to have someone on guard trying to start some, be scared. Like he's gonna he's gonna be scary or something. Something's gonna go on if I pull up to the mayor as a Batman. Like come on now. Going as the billionaire himself. Say what you wanna say about my family. I'm ten times more successful than you. 
Estevan. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Which do you know who I am? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. Don't worry. He really can't be disturbed right now. Excuse me, Mr. Wayne? Where's your hair? No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir? Bruce Wayne? To see you? Where's her oh, hair? Right she ain't got no brain. Yeah, do you not know who I am? Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. Come on, bro. We can be friends. Tio. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Okay. Your Except father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. All you right. were born with it. I respect you. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. Oh yeah, play that. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So, what's your point? Can't finish for that. you have one, or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of dent in the campaign. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Mm -hmm. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. Exactly. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. What? I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. Bro, stop. You definitely I'm the did. heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. You're about to get put in a split for talking crazy and you're like 68, bro. This man's 68 making threats. Matter. I should've came in here as Batman, bro. Get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security the debate. I sold. still out there. I tried to be professional and all that. He's like, he just uses his age, bro. Oh my. I sold, bro. I should have gone in there as Batman. Oh, Singles being such a bitch. I mean, I don't care. I, f I still felt as if I pressed him. Something bad happens to him, that's on him for not aligning with me. Because, like, I'm young, I'm built. 
and I got pockets. Where did Batman talks to him now? Word. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. It must have been quite upsetting. Yes. I can't imagine how he must uh. feel. To learn so much in so little time. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping Oz. The city needs you now more than ever. It's too much alliances to keep count, bro. I'll uh, leave you to it then. Hmm. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Let me see this. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble yeah, making this is bad. and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a Quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight. I know somebody kissed her. She's a criminal. Was the loudest one in recent memory. Yeah, this year I can't seem to harm myself. We both have a 